All right, hi. I'm gonna see if I can get this adjusted a little bit here. Maybe lift her up a little. I don't know. Nope, she's gonna fall right back down. <laughs> Does not wanna stay where I want it to stay today. There. All right, so I am working on the challenge again, envelopes. Now I folded two envelopes in half because I want to make sure I do two of each thing today. So cut this one in half and then I have two envelopes here that I'm going to make into book pages like I did the other day. So, but I will, for right now, for the challenge, do one of each. And then finish the rest off camera. Now this one's going to be a pocket. But I was thinking taking this and maybe tracing it. Yeah, I'll probably, or I'm going to trace this and then glue it on. And then maybe add a little strip for the side here. And then I'll glue this on. And I forgot all about distressing, but that's okay. Not everything needs to be distressed all the time. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the inside of this quick.
and cut these ends off here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of vocal points, I think, on each side. And I was thinking about using this underneath each one just to add a little something to it. Sorry, I'm off screen right now, but it just makes it a little easier for me to cut. Just add a little bit of extra texture to this. Like that. this kind of like it that way but I'm going to distress around this portion and stuff before I get going too much into this Sorry, don't mean to be so far away today. Keep on forgetting I'm recording. I'm sure other people have too when they do this. Get their recording and go into crafting world. And I figure the back of this can be journaling space. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to make these into an, an actual page. You know, put it in the book with actual page. Or if I'm just going to put it into a page. Like, take a page like this. You know, if it's page. And stick it in. And around and paper clip it unsure but I have time kind of like this one better on this side now I'm going to use my art glitter glue for this one. and for the paper behind it. And with this being three little pigs themed, I'm kind of trying to make it a little bit farmy, but at the same time not pretty but farmy <laughs> if that makes sense
So now we're done with this envelope. And again, it's very simple, but we have pockets on both sides and it makes a nice journaling space too. All right, now this one, we're gonna go off and distress right away. Which I should have done with the last one, but didn't, so. Ooh, I kind of like this one. And I'm going to rip this. I know sometimes I use my ruler, but at the moment I don't feel like using my ruler. And I'm using Antique Papery's Digitals. I love her digitals. I think they're awesome actually. But I kind of want these flowers to be in this part. So I think that would be cool. So I'm going to just rip this portion off. Go from there. Okay. That kind of tells me where I need to rip next. Do it like that. I think that's going to look gorgeous. The flowers, it's going to look like the flowers are blooming out of it. And I did do this one on photo paper. And I'm going to trace around this so I know where to rip. A little bit. I think that it's going to look really pretty ripped. 
Okay, and again, I'm just distressing it. I'm starting to really enjoy crafting again, which is awesome. Now that all this ankle stuff is done, being able to do this every day, at least once a day, makes me very happy. I'm proud again. Now I was thinking about adding just one of these to it just to add something. And because it's plain on the back, just leaving it like that. Maybe make it into a tag. And this ain't muslin. This is actually some white sheet that I had at one point and coffee dyed it. I love coffee dyeing cloth, honestly. I love coffee dyeing, but I have better luck with cloth. <laughs> so, this one's finished. I know it isn't much, but maybe add one of my things here. I don't really like that. All right, let's look at my ephemera quick. I think I have a cute little butterfly that can be added to it without adding too much to it. Sorry, cutting down the cloth here. There we go. Yeah, I think that adds a little bit to it. So I'm going to glue this down and then I'll move it a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I know it's very neutral colored. And I think I got this in some, an Etsy shop buy actually. So. And I'm actually going to sew up these, or, yeah, these edges, so, and maybe sew around my circle here. All right. Next one is this lovely thing. this I'm just going to collage so as I stick stuff down I may distress it a little bit here and just because who knows what's show, going to be showing and what's not going to be showing 
and then glue. And again, I'm not going to pay attention to what it, how much is hanging off the corner just yet, just because I don't want to at this moment in time. I don't think it's a good idea to be doing that, so I'm just going to glue. Not staying in frame, am I? Sorry about that. Distress this one a bit. And again, I'm just trying to use up some of these scraps I've had from the other ones. Might as well use them up. Or at least try to. A little bit. I'm trying not to use up my papers as much as possible. Maybe a tiny piece of paper here and a tiny piece of paper there, but not all of my papers. Using up my papers is kind of bad, I'm thinking. I know, I forgot to distress. Oh well. You can forget to distress when the distress is right in front of your face. Trust me, I do it all the time.
and I'm purposely trying to leave some of this green noticeable but not noticeable at the same time Now I'm going to cut around the edge here. This might be easier to do open. Sorry, I couldn't see the line, so I wanted to get it closer to my face. Sometimes that happens. All right, now I have to do this side. I think what I'm gonna do actually is take the piece of paper I was using, check if it says anything naughty. Nope. All right. And I'm gonna chew, chew. Excuse me. And I'll have time to clean this after and I'm almost out of 30 minutes so I'm gonna have to rush this it might be a little over today my 30 minutes but I did use three envelopes <laughs> And I'm almost done with this one. There we go. Now all that's left is this inside piece. We're going to glue them on. Nope, that paper isn't going to work, but this one will. Yep, I definitely made it past the 30 mark, but that's okay.
hurry so I can get this done quick er. also I want to make sure it looks right when it gets put on this You know what? We're going to do it this way. Since it isn't gluing on and I want this to be on it. We're just going to do a shortcut. Either way, they will be on it in the end. There. And I guess it's going this way. So, that's the first page. The inside, which is lots of journaling space. And then the back. And I already messed up on this, so I'm going to tear it. I'm easier, easier to tear this than it would be everything else so and to glue it back on not a problem Sometimes you have to improvise. There. And I'm gonna quickly get some coffee dyed paper and cover up that. That's what I'm going to do is just quickly cover this up with some coffee dye. I've learned now if I coffee dye my daughter's homework assignments, or not homework assignments, but paper that they bring home from school, the, you know, paper that you just throw away, it makes life a little easier if you just coffee dye it and reuse it copy paper. It ain't like it's doing anything, but it's way better for the environment. If you just reuse the paper. There. Now all well, what's left is distressing. Because of course I have to just re-distress everything. Now I'm going to distress the inside. And this part I'm just going to flip it like this and then distress it. The 
some new leaf left and just stress it that way. And there we go. We got a page that will be getting put in the junk journal. This is a die cut that I did out of my Cricut Maker a long time ago, but never actually stuck it on anything. So. That. Take my pen here. There, it looks like it's up a hill inside, distressed, coffee dyed, and then our cute little butterflies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit longer than 30 minutes, but it's a challenge for a reason. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.